Hi, I'm Scott Lowen with Zeiss Industrial Metrology. The topic for this tutorial will cover an overview and general navigation of PyWeb Designer. As an introduction, PyWeb Designer is the PyWeb tool used to create, edit, and design PyWeb reports. These reports become templates that are viewed with PyWeb Monitor and populated with data from the PyWeb database. To begin, I will launch PyWeb Designer from my desktop icon. I am greeted with a start menu where I can create a new report or edit an existing one. These existing reports may be selected from a list of recently used reports or from a library of generic reports. You may also open an existing report from a folder. For this tutorial, I will create a new report. With a new report, you will typically start by adding a data provider. In my installation, I will pick the predefined connection of PyWeb Server Lowen. Picking these arrows, I can fetch and view characteristics available to my report. Under the Toolbox tab, I can see a complete list of objects available to build my PyWeb report. With a right click, I can change my preferences to open only one group at once. This allows me an easier navigation to find different objects. I can drag any of these objects onto a page, and right-clicking can allow access to additional functions. Here, I will load a CAD model to this image. There are two common methods to build an object on a report with binding to our database. First method is to drag an object on a page, and then choose what characteristics from our database to populate this object. Hitting F5 will refresh our report with measured data. The second method is to drag a characteristic on the page and then select an object to apply this characteristic to. Again, F5 to refresh. Under the Properties tab, I'm able to adjust the details of how I view or control this object. For example, on my flatness, I will change the magnification factor, or under Advanced, I will disable the view of the coordinate system and the data table and maybe increase the font size. If this is my preferred configuration, I can right click the object and use this as my new default, assuring these settings are used in future flatness objects. Another tab to explore is the ability to create multiple pages. First, PyWeb has a master page. Adding objects to this will show on all other pages. Good examples are company logos and header variables. For text objects, I can right click and access all variables from the database. If picking a data provider variable, make sure you also pick the appropriate part in your data provider tab. Control T is also a shortcut for creating a text object. We also have icons on the top to align these objects on the page. To create additional pages in your report, you can right click and insert a new page. You can right click again and under Page Setup, define the paper size and orientation. You notice this will affect all pages. If you only want to rotate one page, you can select that specific page, right click, and rotate page format. The last tab to cover is the page structure. On this tab, the structure and content of the report is clearly displayed. This tab becomes very useful with larger, more complex pages with multiple layers and groups. From this tab, I can select objects sometimes easier than finding them on the page. Right-clicking gives me the same menu options like pinning or deleting. Double-clicking will open the Properties tab. Switching to a new topic, at any time while building this report, I can preview the status as it will be seen by our PyWeb Monitor users. On the left, I have the measurement selection options available by default to our PyWeb Monitor user. If this list is not appropriate, you can close the PyWeb Monitor preview 
and modify this list under the measurement tab and then configure the measurement selection. In this case I will remove batch, add fixture, and change the order. I will also add an option for the PyWim monitor user to select his own additional filters. Previewing my report again, I can see these changes applied to my measurement selection. When we are done, make sure to save your report and place it in an easily accessible location on a network drive for your PyWeb monitor users. And that concludes our tutorial on PyWeb Designer.